Scott, what are some of the things that are different about an aerobatic airplane they have to pay special attention to? So there's two particular things that are different. The first is the airplane is much stronger than a normal general aviation aircraft, but it's also subject to more extreme stresses. So we're going to pay more attention to the airframe in any signs that it might be giving us that we've heard it and it needs attention before it becomes catastrophic. This airplane is extremely robust, it's well known, so there's special spots you look at to see if it's having problems, but you still spend more attention on checking that it's structurally good. Past that, there's a whole bunch of stuff on it that lets it fly upside down, okay. and that's just a little bit different for the average person as to what's going on. One of them on this is our fuel tanks are sealed caps, they're not vented caps, and the venting is off on the left-hand wing. So we just check that the caps are on tight on both sides. Even more important on this, if we're flying upside down, it's one thing to have the air suck the gas out, it's another thing to pour it out when you're upside down. Inside the cowling is part of our inverted fuel and oil system. We have a slobber pot, and a check valve, and this keeps our oil pressure up when we're upside down. So as we roll, there's a pair of balls that swap the vent with the pickup line, and it keeps the oil pressure up. One of the things we have on this, you'll see on aerobatic airplanes, is an aerobatic sight. This is just a reference for the pilot, like yourself. Despite what it might look like, it's hard to tell whether you're going straight up, straight down, or whether you're on a 45 degree angle. This just gives you a reference to the horizon to let you know that, that you're doing it correctly. We have one thing that's a little bit different on the decathlon. Again, you'll see these on many aerobatic airplanes, are these plates on the ailerons. Those are called spades. Um, and they're literally power assist for the ailerons. It's like an aerodynamic balance. It's just an add-on later, and it makes your stick forces a little bit lighter. If you have a big gap between the control surface and, and the fixed surface ahead of it, air tends to bleed through, it reduces the control effectiveness. This airplane has two things on it to help with that. There's an aluminum gap seal that seals, but inside there's also a flexible canvas seal that's actually attached to this rear spar and the front of the aileron, and it keeps it sealed as it moves. It's, it's a little bit like when we're flying, we talk about listening to the airfoil so that it talks to you. Structurally, the airplane talks to you as well, and it's your job to listen. Like, it, it, it won't just break. It will, it will tell you that it's having trouble. It's up to you to spot it, listen to it, and, and get it fixed. Okay, so get yourself in. I'll get belted up, and uh, it's just like normal aircraft entry. The only difference is once you get the belts on, I'm going to talk a bit about cinching them up for aerobatics. <laughs> 